Right, yeah, sorry about that. I had to uh, just pop off and um, do some stuff. Unfortunately, it's that time of day, so I'm getting I'm, I'm getting quite a few interruptions, and uh, sorry about that, really, guys. There's nothing I can do. Um, things need doing. Dogs need walking, for example, and uh, washing up needs doing, and dinners need eating, etc., etc. So, anyway, apologies in advance for that. You might have to bear with me every now and again. Anyway, I digress from my original point, which was to find this man, free, which will give want? me this quest which I want to do, and why are these p candles giving off purple light? Never mind, who cares? Um, is it you? Mercy is mercy. I think it might be you. It's difficult to tell sometimes, because everyone looks completely different to they did in, in Morrowind. Good day, I can help can I help you find your way around Old Rune? Uh or yeah, this must be the guy. I don't have much work for anyone under the rank of swordsman. Oh. Hmm. Right. Yes, okay, he's basically just telling me to go back to the woman in Balmora. Because I'm not high enough rank. Oh well. Never mind. I'll just have to think of something else. Um, there's a few Thieves Guild quests here actually. If I go to the Rat in the Pot, I think that's go the ahead. that's the Thieves Guild hangout in Aldruin, isn't it? The Rat in the Pot. I'm not sure. I'll go and find out. And other than that, I suppose I can start making my way to Sadrid Mora to join the Talvo. Oh, wow, serious ash storm going on out here. Uh, to join the Talvani, I suppose. Where is the rat in the pot? Is it, is it this? I believe so. Uh, who do I speak to in here? I don't suppose it's you, is it? Oh, you no, know, you're just a price on your head, man, aren't you? Who, again, probably doesn't work, because it's stupid One like that. What about you? Head. Nope. You? I, you doesn't look like you're wearing iron armor, after all. Um... Don't think it's the orc somehow. Um, maybe they're downstairs. Hello. Nope. Oh, hang on. You offer training. You offer training and and things. Are you a fence? Oh, that'd be so cool if you're a fence. Yes, he is. I can sell my stuff to him. That's great. Um. Why didn't they have one in Balmora then? Or did they have one in Balmora and I just didn't find him? Uh, disposition 100. I should be able to push him up quite far then. Yes. That. Uh, that. Uh, no, no, we'll keep the restore strength. Restore strength is always a good thing to have. Yeah, take the diamond. It's worth lots of money. Let's sort everything by value first. See what we've got to work with. Nah, that's kind of it really, isn't it? I suppose you can have those. Um oh, you know, I'll just I'll just get rid of all these useless bits of alchemical crap that I'm not going to use. I might as well. Take it, take that, and that, and those, I suppose. Uh, it's increasing my mercantile skill, so that's cool. I'll keep that just in case my alchemy increases, and I can then you therefore use it to make health potions with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's good. 
What do you train in? Security. Don't care. Don't need it. Don't want it. Which what reminds me. Surprise. Hang on a minute. Do you have do you have lock picks? Do you? Yes, you do. You have four. Be having those, thanks. Good, but I still haven't found the person to speak to in terms of why are there beds everywhere? I don't remember there being loads of beds in this place in the original. This place wasn't even an inn; it was just a tavern, a pub, if you will, that you couldn't actually sleep in. Do my eyes deceive me? I'm not used to such lively company. Welcome, friend. Hello. Um. Are you in charge? Nope. Ooh, maybe they're down here. Aingroth the Jewel. Interesting. Aha! It is you! That's right, Jobs. I've got a job for you. Something like that might add some clink to your pockets. I've heard the Aldrun Guild of Mages has been left unguarded. I want you to get Anarenenemenens... Somebody's... Devil Tanto. Like I said, my source in the Mages Guild says they'll all be gone for a while. Go in there and take whatever you want, but be sure to bring me so and so's Devil Tanto. Okay, cool. Oh, I've been promoted too. Nice. I have a feeling cool. that you and I are about to become Cool. 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 Uh let's make sure. No, we don't want a Blood Moon. Selected is the main thing. We want this one. Let's go do this. Oh man, the Ash Storm thing looks really weird. Look at it. it. It's like the rain thing earlier. I think the reason it, for that is that Oblivion's weather effect used a mask. A mask effect instead of uh, oddly, oddly. They use a mask effect instead of like a Morrowind where it used actual particle particle effects. And uh, what's going on? Oh, bloody hell! What the hell was that about? Yeah, it uses a ma anyway. Once I say, yeah, it was about this. The the weather effect in Oblivion used a masking effect instead of actual particle effects like Morrowind did, which is very odd. I was saying because particle effects are far more advanced than a mask. So why did they go back to the days of Daggerfall where they used masking effects for weather? I don't know. One of the many things I suppose I don't like about Oblivion. One of the many reasons why I liked Obli Morrowind more than Oblivion despite of the fact that it came out long before it did, that Oblivion did. But anyway, on the other hand, in some ways it does look more realistic, because an ash storm in real life would have lots of sort of snowy, like, flakes and stuff flying around, as opposed to looking a bit like a sandstorm like it does in, um, like it does in normal Morrowind. Anyway, enough, enough chit-chat. We have things to do, places to loot. And, uh, Bet people are stabbed too. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, right, it's just auto saved, so I don't need to quick save. Uh, I have a feeling this is all going to go horribly wrong. I bloody well hope it doesn't. Could do without any mishaps right now after that last Thieves Guild a catastrophe. With the little Benny Hill chase sequence. Or a half half a million miners and townsfolk chasing me with like pitchforks, just because I took like a few little Dwemer artifacts out of that guy's chest in a completely different town. I mean, why on earth did those guys even care? You know. Anyway, pearls, lovely, and marshmallow, good. More cork bulbs, some pearls again, some slow soap, and and open sesame. 
More pearls. Lovely. And some dreg wax. I always thought that was pronounced Drew, but they pronounce it dreg for some reason in Oblivion. When you actually hear him talking about land dreg, so I guess that's how it's done. Interesting. Um, I suspect this is the this is the chest which the potion guy has all his potions in. So if I can get this thing open, I will hit the potion jackpot. Uh, but yes, like I said, provided I've got some way to open it, which I don't think I do, other than sitting here with my lockpicks for ages. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be a bit gamey, and I'm going to quick save. And now do it. And if I completely fail, then I'll quick quick load again and do it again and try to do it without losing so many lock picks. Because believe me, I think I'm going to lose lots on this. I'm bad enough at easy locks, let alone hard ones. Oh dear. So it begins. If this takes too long. I might skip it ahead, uh, but hopefully it won't. One more. No! Oh. Yes. Oh, look at all this. Look at it all. <coughs> Apologies. Let's see. Potion of Cure, I'll have those. And that. And that. And those. Don't need that. I've already got a spell for that. I know that's disease resistance, but I kind of find it quite amusing that the bottle is labelled standard disease. Ah, oh, fortify stuff. Never use it. Never. Um. Poison resist. No. No. Yes. Uh, yes. Uh, could be useful. No, not really. Not really. No. Nope. Yes. I could, I could, I could probably just. I should probably just take a lot, really, shouldn't I? And just sell it all and make a fortune. And you know what? I paid for this in lockpicks, so God damn it, I will take them. And lockpicks are a very scarce commodity in Morrowind, in Morrow Oblivion even. Um, so damn it, I will be taking all of those. I earned it. These books, oh, that's worth a fair amount. 50 or so, that's worth quite a lot. And it's a skill book, good. Um, um, what else have we got? Uh, so, oh, I didn't mean to take that, but never mind. Some gold. Some books. Not going to take all of those. Um, with the shins. Another skill book. Nice. Sadly, though, so far in terms of skill books, they've all been skills that I'm not proficient in. Which is a pain. But anyway. Um, candle? No, I don't need a candle, do I? I think so. What else is there? It's all just 